Ask Reddit by Celery Lover for you. What's a job or profession that seems easy, but is incredibly challenging? Anything customer facing, the public is dumb and horrendous. The further I get in my corporate career, the less I believe I will ever again be capable of working a public facing job. I don't know how I did it in the past. I couldn't handle it in the present. I know people are only getting worse in regards to how they treat workers. It is disturbing, embarrassing and raining for everyone. A pharmacist. 1. You face the public. 2. Your mistake can literally kill someone. This is why I am a mortician. Can't kill someone if I fuck up. Pharmacist. So many people think their job is essentially the same as any other kind of retail worker and they just prepare prescriptions written by a doctor without having to know anything about them. They are very highly trained in, well, pharmacology, and it's not uncommon for a pharmacist to notice things like potentially dangerous drug interactions that the doctor hadn't. I once went to the ER with an infection, told the doc I was breastfeeding my two month old at the time. He gives me a prescription sends me on my way. I got to M pharmacy to have it filled and the pharmacist says didn't you have a baby recently? Are you breastfeeding? I said yes and yes and he said yeah you cannot take this med. I was so thankful for his great memory and keen eye. Teaching, especially special education. Two nuggets of wisdom from my mentor teacher when I was younger. Teaching is the easiest job to do poorly and the hardest job to do well and you get to choose two of the following three, friends, family, or being a good teacher. You don't have enough time to do all three. We all know colleagues or remember teachers who were lazy and chose the easy route, but any teacher who is trying to be a good teacher has probably sacrificed their friends and their sleep for little pay and a stressful work environment. There's a reason something like half quit the profession within the first five years. Some creative professions, such as designers, are often perceived as easy due to their creative nature. However, they may face the constant need to find inspiration, deal with criticism, and meet deadlines. Everybody thinks they are a designer, up until the point of having to do the work. But come critique time. Mysteriously, everybody is a fucking designer again. The most important skill to have as a designer is thick skin. Anything directly customer facing. I was a salesperson in a large electronic store for a couple of years. It wasn't hard at all. The hardest part for me was that we had to appear available when no one was there. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed helping people out and I got better at conversations and social cues gained confidence. Help that it paid relatively well. And 95 plus percent of people are lovely. Deleted. My first job out of college was digitizing VHS tapes and then writing a description of what was on the tape. It took two, maybe three brain cells. Retail. People are dirty, rude, narcissistic assholes. And nowadays you are dealing with dirty, rude, narcissistic assholes who enter the store just to shoplift. Customer service. Thank you. Having done CS in many years in different areas, tech, betting, counsel, people always think it's dead easy because it's just picking up the phone. No one realizes how draining and mentally exhausting it can be to be told off or belittled on the phone for 8 hours a day. Co-work. I wish it could be taken for granted that no one thinks it's easy. But unfortunately many people still see it as an unskilled job and have no idea of the many emotional complexities, or of how much empathy, all the time, is needed to form the sorts of relationships with service users that they really need. Surprised this is so far down. I suspect everything fits this. Consider that someone whose job is stacking boxes in a warehouse has to know how to lift boxes, how many can be stacked, know if certain ones must be easily accessible, know how to use any equipment that is used to move boxes around, and so on. Sounds like the easiest job in this whole thread. 
I'm going to say most types of unskilled labor and that's cause there's such little reward and such a huge amount of bullshit. I've done customer service, barista, sales, serving, etc. It was all much harder than my cushy desk job that actually can be considered life or death. I was a suit most of my professional life. Retired, got bored, and worked retail for a while. Way more thinking and attention to detail than my suit jobs. I don't know if I'd call it incredibly challenging, but being one of those old school taxi drivers who knows the city like the back of his hand and can literally just drive wherever being told nothing but an address are pretty impressively skilled. Not sure if it's still like this, but British cabbers used to be legendary for this. I'm 40 and I don't think most young people appreciate how much the quality of cab service has gone down since the advent of things like Uber. Nowadays it's just kind of expected that a Rittisha cab driver doesn't know exactly where you're trying to get and has to rely on GPS directions that they often fuck up. Back when I was in college cabbers were complete experts on their city. More even than knowing how to get somewhere they could also give you advice. Like you could just generally describe a type of bar club business you're looking for and they took a longer cab ride 15 years ago when I was a kid in New York. I remember asking the driver all sorts of questions about the city as it was my first time there. He answered everything without hesitation. Nowadays, you get in an Uber and pray the guy knows the best way around traffic and won't speak a word to you. Being a chef. I would love to meet the person who thinks being a chef is easy. I cook my own food and it's, not only, okay to eat but I make a batch of it so I have some for later. So, to make food that is above good and portion it correctly many times a day and do it consistently with minimal wastage, so they make a profit, strikes me as extremely difficult. Anything that involves a lot of people skills and socializing. I thought these positions were just the BS of sitting in meetings all day and not a lot of work happening, but having to be the one leading those meetings and doing public speaking is taxing in a way I didn't realize. Veterinary Technician Do the job of an RN, anesthesiology tech, dental hygienist, radiology tech, phlebotomist, lab tech, and CNA, but probably don't make a living wage and have people undervalue your career because you play with puppies and kittens all day. Considered going into this, but it would mean paying for certification just to make less money than I do now. Sometimes, when my brain is fried from thinking and my ego is shot from not fixing the problem, I want to be a garbage man, not a ton of thinking, just put the trash in the truck, heck of them have trucks that do it for you. But the robot either doesn't work or you don't have one on your truck, it smells really bad, the pay isn't what it used to be, you might find a dead body and certainly find dead animal carcasses, and people are idiots, overfilling their backs, just to have them fall apart before you get to the truck, not putting their trash out and then blaming you, making you come back out, your body probably is sore every day, and you have to take two baths before you can kiss your wife, EHH maybe things are not so bad where I am. Psychotherapist Therapist here. I've always said that it's pretty easy to be an okay therapist as in, it's not that hard to listen to people's problems and say oh wow, that's so hard, poor you. But to be a good therapist, to know when your client is getting stuck in the same patterns, or to notice what your client isn't saying, to realize that they are only ever saying how amazing their spouse is, and to think, HMM, nobody's marriage is perfect, something's going on there. To be able to ask questions like, hey, we've been talking a lot about your job, but what's going on with your family and then to be able to call them on their shit, but with kindness and empathy? Balancing that shit is hard. Anybody can have empathy, but knowing when to use empathy and when and how to challenge someone is so much harder. And that's only one dimension of what makes being a therapist challenging. For the most part, my job is really easy, marketing tech. But having to constantly stay on top of new platforms, new tech, updates, etc etc is exhausting and overwhelming and I really hate it. 
Also the constant responsibility to locate and execute opportunities to optimize things and increase value for higher ups. Nobody in corporate roles can ever just reach a point of good enough. More and better is always required. Just some of the big reasons I'm considering a career change. Culinary. What you see on TV is just some wild dream reality is. You are 50% grey by the age of 30, your legs feel like you are 80 years old, your hands don't even work they are just stuck in an infinity loop of cutting and chopping that's all they are good for and OFC slaping some nasty slaps that hurt like truck. Your nerves have given up and it's matter of time when will you chop some guest for talking nonsense, you don't know what week it is, your Monday is day for sleep, your night out is drinking in some pit. It's none of the glamour you see on TV. Sometimes I cut more animals than my brain can handle, I've lost an appetite for many things long ago. But it's fun. Understood, Jeff. Performing arts and other types of art people think it's a cakewalk or not a real job not realizing the literal lifetime of training, rejection, and perseverance that it takes to reach a professional level and how insanely competitive those spaces are then wonder how they could kill themselves when they have everything. Preschool teacher. I get a lot of oh you just get to play with kids all day but in fact we do lesson planning just like teachers of higher grades and these kids aren't even emotionally mature yet. Aside from teaching them academics we also need to teach them social and self-help skills. And in my state our ratio is 10 kids per one teacher so I have a class of 18 between me and my TA. Not to mention having to deal with crazy parents who think their kid is the only one we need to focus on. And we don't get paid nearly as much as the other teachers either plus we don't have unions or benefits or PTO vacation time which teachers of higher grades are guaranteed. LOL parents are nuts. Once had a parent tell us that we weren't allowed to say no to their child. It was definitely a head scratch moment. Based on all the posts I see on Reddit it. Sure basic troubleshooting is easy something anyone really can do, but actually understanding why problems are happening seems incredibly rare in this day and age. Yes. And at any level. The burnout rate is very high. USPS. Everyone thinks this is a cake job that pays well and has great benefits. Being a rural carrier is the hardest job I've had, and carriers are treated like absolute shit from customers and management. I worked in the utility industry for 10 years prior, and was a conductor for a class 1 RR for 3 years after that. Those jobs, even with the travel, were a walk in the park compared to being a carrier. Was looking for this. People think the Newman character from Seinfeld. I couldn't agree with you more. Honestly, as dumb as it sounds, receptionist at an office where things are extremely busy. You wear a zillion hats and everyone needs a million things that aren't related to each other all at once. It's not hard it's just a lot to juggle while keeping a smile on your face and making everyone happy.